Welcome back on moving on to our first segment for today, talking about the tourism industry. Well, the Minister of Tourism and Antiquities revealed that a budget ranging from 1.5 to 1.6 billion pounds has been allocated during the current fiscal year to spend on various promotional activities for the Egyptian tourist destination. Well, of course, the main aim is to attract more tourists to visit the Egyptian destinations. And, of course, we have more promotional campaign taking place to attract more visitors. And we know that uh, usually holidaymakers come from all over the world to enjoy Egypt to spend uh, their vacation in Egypt. Well today in the studio we have Mr. Mohammed Gharib Abdel Azim and he's a member of the Federation of Tourist Chambers Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities. Good morning sir. Good morning. So first of all I'd like to talk about um, the, the new uh, vision of the promotional campaigns taking place in tourism and we have noticed that it is completely different now we are trying to attract the visitors and in the meantime we are trying to make them part of what mm. is going on. Uh, actually the, the, this, is, this is how is the government working right now a few years ago uh, they start to, to, to focus more about the, the tourism issue to, to, to the uh, places where, we can, where the tourists can visit in Egypt. There are so many places in Egypt really was, uh, you couldn't be able to visit it uh, or the tourists even couldn't be able to visit it at the time because of there is no, um, for example, no road, no, like, uh, no service, like uh, for example in St. Catherine, uh, it's it's a, it's a place for, for relations, it's a place for... A, it's a for, yeah, yeah, for yeah. It's really, really popular, so many people can, couldn't come in there, but before, there is no service over but there. But you know, really. sir, now you are talking about something that's really very, very important. We are talking about the concept of having more projects taking into consideration the infrastructure. Yeah. So from here we can say, for example, if you are in Hurghada, you have the chance to move into Luxor, to move into Dandara, to Suhag, and to have chance to visit some mm. of the most impressive temples worldwide. And in the meantime, if you are in Luxor, you can move on. So I, I mean the, the roads linking cities of Egypt together now provided more facilities exactly. for visitors exactly. to, to enjoy exactly. their stay in Egypt. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah, to waste is, time in moving is, on from one place what to I, the what other. What I mean, what I mean, what I mean to, to go on, uh, uh, because all of the, the, the roads and the, all of the service, what the government trying to do everywhere now, like for example, the, the Sphinx Road, you know, this is project, it's so long, we are very long time trying to, uh, to show this Sphinx or to fix the Sphinx road and show it to the world, but it's coming uh, uh, the most beautiful opening for the Sphinx road. And also the, the, uh, all of the service, what they do now, um, the hotels, the, uh, don't forget about we have a long time like the corona and uh, it was it was a hard time there for the hotels and most of the hotels start to be renewing again they start add more rooms to accept more tourists to to attract more tourists to coming uh, from Hurghada to to go to Luxor it's like around three and a half hours or something like this it's not long distance and it's more easy and before you go to Hurghada also you before you go to Luxor from Hurghada you should visit Dandara we should make something for Dandara. Dandara is a very beautiful temple. There are some uh, important sites, um, actually, yes, not many people know about yeah, it. Yeah. But definitely, if I'm talking about Abydos, about Abidus, Dandara, about Dandara, all these great... Armand. Yes. It's, it's, very, it's very beautiful and very good, uh, very great places to visit. So now also, the, the most, of the, most of the tour companies, you should also arrange with, uh, with, uh, with uh, they make an operation to see this to focus about these places because it's also main or big part of our history not I believe only that this sector Luxor. in tourism actually is our competitive advantage when we are talking about recreational tourism we are talking about incentives we are talking about diversification of the tourism product but our competitive advantage we have to admit it is our history yeah exactly and don't forget that we also it's we uh, uh, egypt um it's full full of history and we, you, you know, you have no competition. We have no competition with another yes. country. We should be more attract for more people because we have um, tourists for uh, divers. We have a divers. 
We have a Red Sea. You can the most beautiful place to get dive. We have a, uh, we have the the history in in the, let we say from like because I, I'm I'm not I'm not so satisfied that we make over day to Luxor that the guests or the tourists going to visit just Valley of the Kings, Hatshepsut, and then uh, Karnak Temple and uh, uh, Luxor Temple. This is I mean like. So after this it's infrastructure, you can take benefit of each and every minute of yeah, your tour. Yeah, exactly. And then did it, it's not enough time to show the tourists what, what, uh, what, we, what we have more. And uh, if we make, I mean, like, if we need to, to attract more tourists right now, we should talk by the, um, we should talk by the, the social media because this is the language now. Mm -hmm. Language now is a social media and to show the world what meaning Egypt and what meaning the, uh, the history of Egypt. Uh, like, I, I mean, if you go to the, the tour from Luxor to Aswan by the Nile cruise, there is also one temple called Habo. You can ask so many people, where is the temple of Habo? Nobody knows. Why? Because we are not showing this by the right way. I mean, we should mix, we should make a mix between the, 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 the experienced people and the new generation who have the talent to work with the social media. And you have the repeater guests. Yeah, exactly. If you're not coming... So every um, time I mean, you will come, you will yeah. find something new to see. Uh, you, you, I mean, like, you know, you have in, in, uh, in Hurghada, for example, you have a German tourists coming like 20 times. Yes. I know, I know one, one guest. They she's, know places by name. Yeah. yeah they, <laughs> they can even go and to even that. They, they yeah, know the supermarket. They know. I mean, like I, I know, I know a, a, a woman from uh, from Romania. She's coming to Egypt sixty times. Sixty times. You can imagine how 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 much knowledge she know about Egypt. If she come to Egypt, and these are our ambassadors. Yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> That's what I mean. I mean. We we should use our tourists. Our client, our, our tourists who's coming to visit Egypt, we should use them to be our uh, ambassadors outside, to be our, our marketing. Our yeah. lawyer. Uh, yeah. Our lawyer, business. our marketing. They make marketing for us uh, 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 over there with, uh, with, uh, with their friends and so on like this. If you are talking about um, the different places to visit in Egypt, also we have seen uh, recently that we are using different means of promotions. Mm -hmm using celebrities, uh, using incentives, um, sometimes when you use celebrities from the other country, this is going to be different. I mean, not to only to have a concert for an Arab singer, but when you have uh, foreign uh, famous uh, bands or singers exactly. coming to Egypt, singing, for example, by the pyramids, by temples or uh, monuments, yeah. the point is that these people are followed by millions, yeah. whether I'm talking about uh, fans on exactly. the social media or the international press. Mm -hmm. So how do you see this and how can we work on this more and more? Gary, this is a great idea. It's a great idea. I, I could... Really, it's, it's a great idea because these people have so many followers, millions of followers. They, uh, they follow them even by the social media. And this, don't forget, this is the language of this time. So we should use it. This is the language of this time that, for example, in my generation, in my generation, we don't have all of this option to talk through the Internet, to talk through the Facebook or in Instagram or Twitter or all of this, uh, all of this uh, uh, social media. Then this is uh, uh, now is language of the world right now. So we should use it. As you say, if we invited, if we invite and a good singer, very famous football player, not only we have, singer. We have yeah. this actually. Yeah, taking this place is of this course, is can yes. coming. If you if we make, for example, in the, in the Karnak Temple, the, in in a few years or in the past, in a few years ago, uh, when we have this uh, team uh, uh, for a ballet dan for a dancer, um, uh, Reda uh, Muhammad Reda or Mahmoud Reda, uh, they was make theater in Karnak Temple, and it was super great. And the, because the people have so many followers, this is a great idea as well. And what I mean now, right now, we have so we have more more option. We have mo more option because there is a government, there is a president, there is somebody who is doing something right for the country and for this work. Before 
I'm, I'm working in the tourist from tw more than 25 years. Before, we couldn't visit like, um, we couldn't visit some church because there is no road to go there. Now it's done. Everything is Transportation ready. Transportation, of yeah. course, is very, very important. Very important. Very important. Before, before the tourists, they will say that we don't have a road. Really, before the tourists, they say, oh, Egypt don't have a good road. But now, nobody can say this. But how, how do you see now the role of the private sector? We always talk about the role of the private sector, that it is really very, very important. Government can never do everything alone. No, so for sure. How do for you sure. see the role of the private sector should, and how can should. they support in this? How we can support from the street? The street. How, where is the, the city who is working with, with tourists? This is the most, is the big, most big reclama that the street is very important. How we are treat the tourist, how we handle with the tourist. Okay, so I mean, like not only me uh, uh, as a, I was working as a tour guide, not only me. Now I'm I'm working also uh, in with tourist, but not only me, not only you. Even for example, the taxi driver. Of course, there are people the, that are affected the, the, directly the, and indirectly. Yeah. The taxi driver, because everybody, so, the so supermarket, many, the taxi supermarket, driver, the supermarket, the taxi driver, like everyone. Uh, yeah, everyone, everyone. If you meet the tourists, if you don't have any relation with uh, with the work of tourists, if you meet the tourists, I mean, like I would like the Egyptian people, if he would like, if they meet the tourists in the street, just give them smile. The professional hospitality. Yeah, that's it. That's so many countries they are rely on this, and they got so so more tourists. Uh, I would like through our program today and through our meeting today that to open a new project for the people in the world. We should we talk with with the international uh, people. We talk with another country. Come to visit Egypt. We should show them. Now I don't want the the two or the people from any other country. They ask if I go to Egypt, what I have to visit. No, I give you all of the information where you are live and then you decide where to make your program because uh, I, I don't like this idea that we focus only in Hurghada and Sharm el Sheikh because this is not our, this is not only where you can visit in Egypt. You have Siwa, you have a western desert, the Great Sand Sea, the New Valley, yeah, new valley the, new, the New Museum, um, Dahshur, the pyramids, uh, Saqqara. Uh, the, the Saqqara is the oldest pyramid, so the... Uh, and also many resorts uh, on many, the Red Sea, if yeah. we're talking about Makadi, Sahel Hashish. Makadi, Sahel Hashish, Alguna also. Different places. Different places. Not only, not only... Uh, uh, we, you it should all depends upon what they are looking for during their vacation. I mean, some people, they prefer crowded places. Some people, they just want to move into relaxation. Some others, they, they need cultural, yeah. historical visits. Historical, historical, it's more attract. And more attract for, uh, let me say uh, clear, uh, for more attract for the people who's from 40 years and up. Can you say the new generation? The, the new generation, not so many, but they would, they like, they like also to, to but. So they, basically, the third generation is the one who focus yeah, on the historical. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. They, they, this is this is the focus more about the 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 historical tours. For that, for example, I I uh, I talk about if. We don't have only to start, for example, the Nile cruise tour from Luxor to Aswan, because you still have before Abu Simbel in, you in have between Abu Simbel. If you arrive to Aswan and you not go to Abu Simbel, that you do you lost your tour exactly, because Abu Simbel is is terrific. It's completely different. It's something amazing. It's amazing. Especially in the in the sun uh, sunshine and the focus on sunshine. Especially so even in the concept of moving on uh, the, the 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 temple from one place to the other. Yeah. This is it's, another important uh, point uh, that uh, happened this in is, modern history, is, uh, but this, no one can ever believe how it was done. This is if you see if you see the uh, Nasser Nasser League and you see the, the 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 temple, you you wouldn't imagine how they could do it. Really, this is it's really all the people ask this question. How how they could do it, and you have also in Aswan, Fihla, you have uh, you have the Nubian village. What uh, what uh, uh, our president uh, uh, was there and opened it, and it's amazing. You could deal with the, with the Nubian people, and really, you have we have so many places. But I mean, like, we should have a plan. We should have a plan how to handle all of this to make it to show it for the world 
to shoot for the, the tourists around the world how to, when I come to Egypt, my plan is already done. Before I coming, I know that I will come. I will visit this, I will visit this, I will visit this. So he know already his plan. Every tourist should before come to Egypt, know his plan and know where to visit. We can never talk about tourism alone without sure. uh, talking about aviation because both are serving <laughs> each other. Exactly. So, of course, when we talk about uh, aviation in general, talking about the flights, about uh, places to increase the number of flights, uh, daily flights, uh, how, uh, how do you see this and how far can, we can the ministry cooperate more and more uh, in this respect when it comes to the civil aviation? Uh, I hear some, some, I hear some news, uh, uh, maybe a few days or last months, that there is, a, there is some contact from uh, uh, Egypt Air. They start to do what we, sh what we should do f from a long time ago. Now there is some flight from, for, like, for example, from this nation like Hungarian uh, and from Romania, that's uh, from Budapest and from Bucharest. It's direct to Hurghada, and this is by Egypt Air. This is, was not happened before. And this is really, it's pushing more the, 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 the and they give a good price as well. And this is giving, uh, don't forget that now, um, the price of the dollar, the, the exchange for the dollar and euro, it's give for us more option to have more tourists right now. Hurghada is, have so many people, but they live here now. They live. It is challenging for yeah. us. Yes. But for them, I mean, it's time to take benefit of this challenge yeah. as well. Yeah, because don't forget that right now, we all, we all, uh, all of us, we know that uh, uh, now around the world, it's about the energy, about, uh, about the, the gas and about cold, about weather and everything. Um, this, is, this is our time right now. Sir, we are talking now, uh, now we are in December. Yeah. And usually this is uh, the month of no. vacations <laughs> everywhere Christmas in the world. New Year, Everyone everywhere is in celebrating the, the Christmas, a very special occasion to mm. all of us. Mm. So uh, tell me more, what are we doing in this respect? Uh, how do you see it? Uh, I see that in, in, uh, we have, I, that's what I, what I was talking about it now, that we have a uh, chance right now because of what? Because of our weather. And now the energy, uh, uh, the problem for, of energy and the cold in, the, in Europe, then they will move, oh, most of the people, they move already to Hurghada and to Sharm Sheikh and to Egypt uh, as well. So if you come in, if you look now to all of the hotels in Hurghada and all of the hotels in Sharm Sheikh, they are all start already the celebration by the Santa Claus and by the Christmas tree and so on like this. And uh, it's actually in this period, in this time, we should make like... Um, Used, they coming for this celebration, but they will not come for one day for sure. They will have a one week or ten two days weeks. or two weeks. So we should during these two weeks we make more tours and to take them more uh, more places in in, in uh, like in, in Luxor. I talk about I come from Hurghada, so I that what's near from us is Luxor, so it's more near than Cairo. But we need to show the tourists more. I would like that every tourist who's come to Egypt. I should make a target, and not only that I count that I have uh, a, f a few thousand of uh, tourists coming, 15,000 tourists coming during one month, uh, or uh, for example, one million during uh, one year. I, uh, okay, this is very good, but what we earn from this is not only money. I don't, I don't think I that... I can say that every five uh, who will come to Egypt yeah. can bring... Uh, uh, I need from every one tourist two tourists before behind when he go back. Maybe the, the if we idea make a target like this, don't forget. If we make a target like this, it will be great for us because of what? Because if we make a target that every one tourist coming to Egypt, he when he go back, he should bring for us two. You can imagine during one year, you can imagine during three years, during five years. What will happen? And after? sometimes, because you are in Hurghada, for example, if I'm talking about uh, anyone who is spending two weeks in Hurghada, so if you took him for one day visiting uh, Dandara, visiting Abidus, yeah. any of these amazing temples, just give him an idea 
I'm sure that next time he won't be back. He wanted to give some more time exactly. to these places. Let, let me let me sh let me say for you something. And uh, uh, you talk about one point exactly. It's very important because we have so many repeaters actually. Because who's, as we say, as, because it as in our to do with tradition, the word of mouth in tourism. Yeah, our, as in our tradition, if we if we, we say if somebody come to visit Egypt, he will come back again. Or if you drink yes. from the water in, in Egypt, as we say it, like in in, in general. So, but really, this is so many people. They are. Uh, uh, a repeater um, we should give them new program new sh new issue to do new and reward them. yes new idea new things but if you coming if you coming to visit me one time in this year and after two years you coming to me again and then you found the same program what you did two years ago is still the same so nothing is new now but if we if we if you really offer for them like dunder abidus like have the variety like of your products yeah. right uh mr muhammad gharib abdul azim member of the federation of tourist chambers ministry of tourism and antiquities thank you very much for being with us today i would like to thank you uh, so much and i would like to thank the egyptian tv and uh, we would like to offer more and more and more and uh, wish all the best for the country wish all the best for our president for our government for all of egypt in the new year thank uh, you very much we hope to be better, inshallah. So, Thank you. So moving on to a quick break, then we'll be back with more on The Breakfast Show.